let's take a look at snapping in Blender. First, you have increments. You can move them on one unit increments. If you hold in Shift, 0.1. And you can also hold in Control to disable the snapping while snapping is enabled. And as you can see, snapping works for rotation and scale as well. Okay, so next we can try snapping it to objects. So let's add another object. And then we can snap the cube to the face of the other object. So snap the face. And then we can just keep the default settings and then press G to grab. And as you can see, it uh, moves to the face where the mouse cursor is. You can also press tab for edit mode and then move the origin point to the cursor. So let's set the cursor here, set the origin, and then origin to 3D cursor. And then when you set it to snap to vertex and then active, so that we use the origin point, you can see that we can now snap the origin point to the vertex of the other object. And then you can press Shift E, for example, and do the same multiple times by pressing Shift R to repeat the previous actions. Now, if you want the object to fit the other object, you can also align rotation to target and then snap with center. As you can see, it matches the surface of the other object. You can also press tab for edit mode and then press G, then set twice to grab it on the local set axis so that it matches the surface better. And that's it for snapping.